My name's Dub Dip. I'm from Bassendine, WA, 6054. Um, I'm a painter and my canvas is really anything, you know. Preferred medium, whether it be denim, whether it be walls, whether it be, yeah, anything. Sort of just work with what I got. Um, I got started into art growing up with a lot of um, promising graffiti writers and a lot of urban street artists so like sort of got that real intro into art from graffiti like obviously like real rebellious i know tagging walls and but like sort of as we got into more trouble from <laughs> the damage that graffiti caused and the fines we sort of like um started just like scribbling on our clothing um scribbling on mates garages and sort of just moved towards like canvases and more finer art as opposed to vandalize and stuff but um yeah with art like I wasn't really told by my teachers that um my art was promising it was more just a sort of like an outlet you know creatively so that's a hard question to to answer I guess because I haven't it's only sort of really beginning like this book getting a feature in this book is a pretty big accomplishment you know some of the clothing items I've been able to do for some artists is pretty cool but like you sort of just never really want to put yourself in a box you know like um sort of want to just like go from what life hands you and like you never know your biggest your biggest art project could be coming tomorrow or yeah it could be coming five years down the track tips about my medium uh just try everything like there's no good or there's no right way to do anything really it's all like experiment trial and error like some things might work good for you that don't work for other artists that you've been inspired by. You know, like everyone's everyone's different. We just gotta find our little niche. What creative process works for us best. Like I tried to make my creative processes work on the way of like not having that much money to start out with, you know? So you're kinda, if you gotta paint something for someone, you might be in Airbnbs and you gotta sorta just work with the area you got without getting it dirty, so. I don't know, just trial and error, you know? And like, there's no, there's no wrong way to do things either. Um, paint on clothes, you know? So I guess we've all like, sort of used to write on our jeans as a kid, you know, like punk rock and scribble on our shoes. But like, tend to know, you don't, you don't always have to buy really good paints either. You can just buy acrylics and get a um, textile medium. It's like a little, it's like a little glue that you sort of mix your paints with. And then whatever you're painting on, it'll leave a, a rigid edge on it. So. Like some, some of us don't have a heat gun, so like the best way is get some baking paper and an iron and just go over it to flatten your denim down. But yeah, just painting on different mediums. Some paints or bleaches or dyes won't take to the certain medium, but you don't know until you try it and sort of go from there. So the challenges with art, I guess, is the same as anyone that we're sort of a creative are. Uh, you sort of put yourself in an own self-doubt bubble, you know, like, am I good enough? is this person gonna like this? But you're sort of always gonna be put in a box if you think like that, you know? You sort of have to be like, the way I look at it is, with art, as long as someone is walking away from looking at one of my pieces feeling something, whether they're feeling happy, disappointed, sad, angry, or inspired, you know, you've left, like you've left them with walking away thinking about something. So that's sort of my goal is at least to like, be doing it for someone to feel. Not so much that they connect with it, but just walk away starting the, starting the conversation about art. I'm a very like, I guess, I don't really want to say anarchist, <laughs> but I'm um, very political, you know? I'll always sort of try and have a message, whether people don't know it, um, I always want to like teach a message because I'm inspired by a lot of the New York painters like Basquiat, Keith Haring, you know, Futura. Uh, Kenny Strafe and it, that just came and five, Fab Five Freddy you know that just came from uh, like the, the culture of community you know um, any like any community especially like um, working class or lower class you know it's like we've got our own galleries sort of around the walls so like I always try and preach that for the people by the people type of message. Um, I really want to start exploring going into some sculptures, um, also like linking it in with um, Aboriginal Noongar and Noongar culture, especially coming from WA, you know, like, um, I don't know, like probably just getting young kids at youth centres, maybe doing murals, sort of like getting a bit more 
I love what Art by Rose has been doing with the blank walls. You know, that's a wicked concept if we can sort of get young kids. Like, every kid wants to paint and draw, you know. So, like, just having, like, a bit of history with young kids that have been rewarded for projects, you know. Like, it's hell cool to see at schools kids are doing projects for sculptures by the sea. Like, that's really rewarding as an artist, you know. So, to see that art does have support after for a long time it's sort of been a little niche a niche interest for some creatives. My favourite piece in the book would probably be, I paint these dip bears quite a lot. So like one picture of there is like the first, first image of that bear that I painted. So like it's good to look back at it because that sort of kick-started my like little identity as an artist. And I guess I was just sort of, I don't know, I was just sort of expressing myself and it sort of helped me find my style for some of those earlier pieces that are in the book. It's probably um, Tyrone. I've been a big fan of Tyrone, um, Crawling Crocodile. He's a WA boy, pretty sure he's a Baladong Noongar boy as well, or he might be Wadani, I know it was one of the two, but yeah, I seen his art in an exhibition and like I was just blown away by it, it was amazing. Uh, just keep doing your thing. Um, any form of criticism is good criticism, you know, and never put yourself in a box.